Welcome to those who are joining us. We're so glad you're here this morning to learn a little bit about Forest Hills Elementary. We'll give it just a little bit of time for more folks to come in. And while you're sort of getting acclimated, I'll tell you a little bit about how we're going to roll with things today. So before I introduce the proud principal of Forest Hill Elementary, Mr. Joel Knorr, I'll let you know that the way that you can submit questions during today's kindergarten kickoff is by sending them either in the chat or the Q&A. Either spot, when you send them in, we will get to as many as we can at the end of the kickoff. And it looks like we're sort of evening out with the number of folks who are with us this morning. So I will, without any further ado, hand it over to Mr. Joel Knorr. Good morning. Um, my screen is showing a couple people with us and um, I'm really glad you took the time to join us. Uh, my name is Joel and I'm the principal at Forest Hills. I have been a principal in the Eden Prairie District for 10 years, but this is my first year at Forest Hills. Prior to coming to Forest Hills, I was the proud principal at Oak Point Elementary School and um, had an opportunity this year to transfer over and really, really excited about being at Forest Hills and um, have a lot of experience as a principal before coming to Eden Prairie. Um, I was a principal down in the state of Arizona at a few school districts down there and originally started my career as a third grade um, teacher and a sixth grade teacher. So I've been in education for 24, 25 years and really, really proud to be the principal at Forest Hills. Um, I think Eden Prairie is clearly one of the best um, school districts in the state of Minnesota, but also nationally. So thanks again for joining us. Um, this presentation will take about 30 minutes. Um, and if you have questions throughout, as Grace mentioned, just put those in the chat or in the Q&A, and I will be happy to answer those at the end of the presentation. First of all, on your screen, you're going to see five teachers that currently teach um, kindergarten at Forest Hills. And Emily is up in the top left, and Katie's below her, and then Alan is in the middle, and then Jenna top right, and Phoebe top uh, or bottom right. Um, I always like to share with families that these teachers could possibly change. Um, you know, teachers sometimes change grade levels or you know change schools. So, I uh, just want to give you put some faces and names um, of our current um, kindergarten teachers. We have five classrooms currently. And each classroom is sitting with about 19 or 20 students in it currently. Um, parents and students um, have given us feedback. Our district does a great job getting feedback, asking uh, parents what they think. Um, so we have lots of indicators that tell us why Eden Prairie is a great, a great school district. We have a 98% quality teacher rating. Um, that's from our 2020 survey. And I'm not going to read all these to you, but you can see again that this 90s, mid 90s, 100%, um, just on how families feel. Um, and these are um, third party third party survey results. So these are just um, Joel or the district making up these numbers. These are actually surveys that are scientifically um, valid and reliable in terms of how families feel. We've also been ranked as an A plus district on niche. Um, that's an online um, way families all across the country can rate schools. Um, so again, we're one of the best districts um, recognized um, annually as one of the best districts in the state and, and country. One of the great things about Eden Prairie, um, this is more holistically pre preschool through um, high school graduation is we um, are just offering more opportunities. You know, you hear so much in the media about school districts having to uh, cut back on programming. Um, honestly, based on the support of our community, including this, this past Tuesday, again, our community um, really stepped up to the plate and said yes two times to our um, local referendums to give us the financial support to continue offering um, the widest variety of academic, athletic, music options in the state. Um, you know, you're not going to see necessarily tons of different programming at the kindergarten level, but as your child goes through our system, um, elementary school, middle school, high school, they're just going to have opportunities to really explore whatever their interests and strengths are, um, more so than any other public school district in, in Minnesota. Our whole mission is about inspiring each child and personalizing learning. Um, our district um, really prides itself on low class size to allow our teachers to personalize learning. Our curriculum um, exceeds our state standards. Our, our whole philosophy is based on the idea of student-centered learning. So if your child is coming to kindergarten um, he or she, you know, may not know their letters, they may not know their sounds, or they may be reading already. And our kindergarten teachers will do a, um, a fantastic job identifying and assessing where your child is at, what their strengths are, 
what are areas of growth, and then meeting them where they're at. We do that through, th through small group instruction throughout the day in reading and math. Um, and it's supported then by um, additional staff that we have in our school district, including intervention teachers, um, second language teachers. Each kindergarten classroom has a, um, a kindergarten paraprofessional or teacher assistant in the classroom. So kids are having not only support from their kindergarten teacher, but multiple other adults. I always share with families, if you want to come visit Forest Hills, when you walk through the kindergarten room, you're going to oftentimes see three, four, um, five adults in the room with 18, 20 kids. And that's because we have uh, multiple layers of adults to support kids. Um, as I mentioned, we do have low class sizes. Right now, um, our class size in the kindergarten are in 19s. Um, typically, 18 to 22 is going to be kind of the range that you're going to see. Um, I've been in the district for 10 years. I've never seen a kindergarten class um, at Oak Point and now at Forest Hills. It's ever been over 22. So I'm very, very confident that next fall at Forest Hills, it'll be around that 18, 19, 20 um, number for in terms of the number of the kids in each classroom. Um, you know, right now we have 532 students grades K through five. So we are on the smaller size um, of elementary schools in our school district. All the other elementary schools are a little bit bigger than we are, um, but we also have um, preschool. We have three preschool classrooms here. So with preschool added, we have about 600 students total. We have an amazing family um, sense of community at Forest Hills. One of the things I always heard when I was at Oak Point was, oh, Forest Hills is such a close knit, tight knit community. Um, the, the school, when you look at where we're geographically located, it is in a, um, I'm not gonna say older part of the, of the school district, but um, you know it's more established. There's not a lot of new homes or new apartments being built around it. So um, the school has been here for 50 years. This is actually our 50th year as a school. So there is a lot of pride and history in the school. Um, the previous principal was here for 27 years, I believe. And one of the things I'm um, really discovering is, you know, what a great job she did and the staff did and the community did, building a sense of family and community here. Um, so there's just a sense of when you come in of like warm, welcoming, um, we want to take care of you. We're all working together. Um, so our, our parent teacher organization does a great job of that, providing lots of extra enrichment opportunities and family events. Um, but then we also do intentional um, teaching around social emotional learn learning and mindfulness. Um, one of the things that you'll see at Forest Hills is we teach children specifically about the zones of regulation. And I know that may be difficult, but in a nutshell, what that is, is really teaching children that, um, you know, we all have different emotions. It's it's having feelings are okay. Um, and all the being in all these different zones are okay, but how do we navigate? How do we, um, when we're upset, if we're tired, if we're sad, you know, what can we do explicitly to help a child uh, move out of that zone into the, into the green zone is where we want all children to be, because we know that if children are happy and positive, um, calm, that's when they learn best. And so, we explicitly teach those zones of regulation. So if a child is upset or angry, if something happens, you know, how do we calm ourselves down? How do we get back and center ourselves um, so we're ready to learn? As I mentioned, our PTO does a lot with um, bringing in community events. Um, due to COVID the last few years, all the schools, not only in Eden Prairie, but statewide, nationwide, really had to limit the number of um, community celebrations, but thankfully, um, those days are, are in the past and we're um, able to bring back um, many, many of our um, celebrations. So we just had a fall event um, where we had food trucks and bounce houses and DJ, uh, families came, it was a great event. Um, next week, you know, the 22nd of November, we have uh, outside assembly coming in from a gentleman that was on America's Got Talent. He's a um, science wizard and he's gonna come do a big science assembly with our students. We do a lot of um, work around positive behavior. So we have celebrations around celebrating the whole school with our positive behavior incentives, uh, multicultural nights, um, and just always looking for ways to connect relationships between home and school, but then also connect relationships between the kids in the building. So our kindergartners are partnering with buddies, with fifth graders, et cetera. Um, so the kids aren't just isolated with just 
um, their own classroom, but we're trying to get kids to see that they're, they're part of a larger school community. We are a very culturally and racially diverse school, and we think that is the uh, strength of our school. Um, right now we have students from 29, um, that have 29 different home languages. Um, and when you think about that, that's just really amazing that we have that type of diversity within our school. The one thing I share with families all the time is when you think about if your child's five going to kindergarten, you know, 12, 13 years from now, whether they go to college, whether they go to some type of technical school, whatever you know, school looks like after high school, 12 or 13 years from now, think about the world that, the, that your child is going to have to live in. Um, and very, very few jobs are going to be so isolated that they're not going to have to interact with people from different races, different cultures, different languages. And the fact that they're growing up in that environment is one of the greatest things about public schools and one of the greatest things about Eden Prairie schools I can offer to families is, you know, when you come to watch children at Forest Hills in the classroom, they don't see race, they don't see culture, some of the problems and challenges of our society. Um, kids are friends and kids are kids and learning to, to appreciate the differences in cultures and value that um, is again, just something we think is wonderful. Um, our school also has different, um, if you go back one slide quick, um, we have safety patrol for older kids. We have buddy classrooms. We have student council, we have choir, um, band, orchestra. So those are some of the things that the kids have as they get older. Um, quickly, a typical day in kindergarten. Um, school starts at 8 a.m. Children can be dropped off starting at 7.45. We do offer breakfast before school. Um, so at 8 o'clock, they should be in their classrooms, and that's um, they start their day with a community circle or morning circle with their teacher. Um, kind of setting their, um, calming themselves down and setting the uh, expectations for the day, going through the daily schedule. And then depending on every year, it's slightly different, but they're going to go through 90 to 120 minutes each day with reading and writing. Um, math is going to be about 60 to 75 minutes. And then science, social studies is going to be um, about 45 minutes a day as well. Each child in our school has an iPad starting in kindergarten. We at Forest Hills do not send the iPads home, but that is an option. Some of those, some schools in our district do have the iPads go home. We have just found that it's easier to make sure that the iPad stays charged um, if we keep, keep them here at school. Oftentimes I get questions about well, how much screen time. Um, a typical kindergarten is gonna have about 15 to 20 minutes throughout the day, not all at one time where they'll be using their iPad. Typically it's for um, showcasing their work with um, their home with moms and dads or grandmas and grandmas through an app called Seesaw where they can demonstrate actually what they're learning. Um, as a parent, you can have the app Seesaw on your phone and you can your child will show you, um, be able to show you um, through the web um, things that they're working on in class. Um, we also use the iPads in kindergarten for um, some reading apps. So. There's some great reading apps out there that children, as they're learning to read, really personalize their reading at their level so they get practice. And then they can also have stories being read to them. So that's typically where you see iPads being used in kindergarten. Um, our students also will go to art, music, PE or gym and world language. And the world language we teach at Forest Hills is Spanish. So they will go to those classes um, for 50 minutes a day um, one of those each day. So they don't go to all four each day. They go just go to one of those on a rotation. Um, you can see some pictures of our sensory path. We do a lot, again, with this um, gross motor movement and giving kids sensory breaks. So kids have an opportunity in the hallways um, to work on some of those skills. The other thing that I just want to take a few minutes to talk about is safety and security. That I know as your um, child's principal, that's... Um, number one on most parents' minds is like, well, I just wanna make sure my child is safe. Um, and our school district has invested, again, thanks to the support of our community, uh, millions of dollars over the last several years, uh, increasing our safety and security in all our buildings. So throughout our building, we have double, double doors that uh, visitors as family members, if you wanna come visit, you have to um, come into a secure entrance, show your ID, that ID is scanned for before you're allowed into the building. We have security cameras throughout the building that are monitored, not only by um, front office staff, but myself and our associate principal 
also in our, our social worker have access to those security cameras. Um, our students and our staff practice safety protocols for um, all kinds of emergency situations from tornado drills to um, fire drills to lockdown drills. Those are all things that are practiced and reinforced. Um, we also have about 40 staff members that carry a radio. So anytime there's a child that, um, you know, went to the bathroom and all of a sudden it's taking longer than they thought, we can quickly radio one another and see uh, and locate that child on the, on the cameras um, where he or she may be. Um, so our schools are um, very, very safe. All the exterior doors are locked. The only way a parent can come in or a visitor can come in is through, the, through that front secure entrance each day. Um, and, you know, again, we teaching children from the first day of school, from the first moment here, you know, what do we do in, in various emergency response situations? Now, we do use very child-centered and child-appropriate language, um, you know, that um, so kids understand, um, you know, how to be safe, how to, um, you know, navigate, you know, if the, if the fire alarm goes off, what, what do we do? Um, so there may, if there's more questions about specific security questions, please make sure to put those in the chat. We'll go to the next slide. We do offer um, a, what I think is a really comprehensive and extensive um, school age care program before and after school. Um, and this is through our community ed program, which is tied to our school district. So that's here, house right here at the school um, that uh, offers, you know, not only indoor and outdoor activity time, but it gives kids homework time. Um, but games, play, all the things that you'd see in a private after school or before school um, program, it's all offered here at our school. And it's in our cafeteria, starts at 630 in the morning and goes all the way to the end of the day. Families can choose one day a week, five days a week, you know, just mornings, just afternoon, both. Um, it's very, very flexible scheduling. There is um, financial assistance available for families that qualify. Um, if you want more information about that program, it's called Eagle Zone. You can contact our district office and ask to talk to staff from Eagle Zone, or you can call, contact our school um, and just ask for Eagle Zone, and we'll connect you with um, you know more information about before and after school um, programming. We also, as I mentioned earlier, have preschool now at Forest Hills. We think this is wonderful because it's going to make our kindergartners for next year. Um, to their transition to kindergarten here so smooth and so easy so easy I'm not sure if either of you that are on the, the call have your child here in preschool or not um, but if you don't that may be something you want to consider um, you know as you move forward before kindergarten next year our website at edenprairie.org slash kindergarten has a ton of information about how to enroll um, it has a checklist, but it gives you all the steps um, of how you can enroll. You can enroll either online or you can go to our district office. We have a wonderful welcome center that has staff there that can help you um, have your child enrolled. If you are a family that, you know, right now you're just considering Forest Hills, or you're considering other Eden Prairie schools or possibly um, private schools or charter schools or other public school districts, the thing that I would ask you um, before you make a choice um, to, to go elsewhere is to come visit Forest Hills during the school day. We do do school tours. Myself, our associate principal, social worker, um, somebody here will give you a great tour. Um, I always tell families that, um, you know, the marketing materials, the brochures, the information flyers that you see don't tell the whole story of any school. You know, please come visit, and I think you'll learn more about Forest Hills in 10 or 15 minutes of being in our building, seeing the interactions between staff and kids um, Though that will really, really solidify what I'm telling you in terms of this is a great school. It's, it's Kids are happy. Staff are very, very dedicated, hardworking, um, and do everything they can to meet the needs of each and every child. We do ask that all children that enroll in our district do go through the early childhood screening. There's information there. Um, it is required by the state of Minnesota before you start kindergarten. So the earlier you can do that, um, the better. And you can do that by, um, again, scheduling online or calling that number that's on the screen. So the question I um, oftentimes like if, again, if you know you're coming to Forest Hills, 
um, I would ask that you register sooner rather than later. And families, especially if you have older children here, like, well, what's the big rush? Well, the, the biggest thing is that third bullet point. It gives me as the principal enough time to make sure I can hire the very best teachers. Every year, um, we have families that wait till you know August, late August, to decide to register. Um, and they've known all along that they were coming. Um, well, that puts us then where you know, that possibility of having to divide a class and create another section, and then you know, looking for the very best teacher becomes more difficult in August than it does in February. Eden Prairie is a highly desired school district for teachers in the metro area to work in, um, but teachers, because of contracts, oftentimes have to make their decisions to switch school districts early in the spring. So we encourage families to enroll early so that helps us recruit and hire the very best teachers for the following year. Um, so that's the number one reason why I tell families, but it also does help you get involved and connected to our school community to learn what's going on currently this year and as we look ahead to next year. We have several upcoming kindergarten events that I'd encourage you to um, consider participating in. On January 10th, we'll have a kindergarten parent panel. That'll be a group of um, current families that have a child in our kindergarten that you'll be able to come and hear firsthand account from them what their child's experience um, is currently in our kindergarten. I think that's one of the most valuable things you can do is hear direct testimonial um, from families that have children here right now. And then in May, we have a welcome event. And that's an opportunity for the kids that are coming to Forest Hills or still thinking about coming to Forest Hills to come meet other children, come meet other families, play on the playground together, meet the teachers, um, see the classrooms again if they haven't done that, um, take a bus ride. It's just a really more of a fun get together. So kids start to see, okay, school's about to start in a few months and have start to build some of those relationships with classmates and future friends. And then in August, we have a two, two day free half day camp. It's called Kinder Camp. And I really encourage um, no matter what school you go to in Eden Prairie, um, all of the schools offer this, that you attend that two days. That really prepares children for that first day of school, makes the transition so much smoother. Um, they know where the restrooms are. They know where their classroom is. You know, we practice going to the cafeteria. Um, so it's a mini school day to really help ease not only the child's, um, you know, sense of security and, and what school looks like and feels like, but it also helps, especially new families, to experience, okay, this is, this is what the school is. These are the pre procedures, processes. Um, this is how we pick up. This is how we drop off. Um, all those things so that you don't have those stresses on the first day of school when there's 500 other students in the building. Um, so I went through that a little quicker than I thought it would. So it took me about 20 minutes. Um, we do have a closing video that we'd like to share with you. And then we'll open it up for questions and answers. I love all the teachers because they're so encouraging and so caring and inspired me to do better and have passion and learning. The teachers inspire me to do the best of what I can do. Forest Hills puts kids first. Every child is treated like they are the most important child in the school, in the classroom, in the district. The passion that the teachers have for the students, you can feel and see all the time. From the moment kids are walking in the doors, there's teachers and staff outside welcoming students in. I'm surrounded by professionals that care about kids more than anyone that I've ever met. The positive learning environment at Forest Hill helps the kids to be positive at home. They are smiling, and that's the happiest part. We're always pushing towards that positive self-image. I do a lot of things with identity building. We talk about building their brand as fifth graders, like, what do you want the world to see you as? And then let's strive towards it. So we've been doing a lot of work over the last two years about mindfulness and mindsets for learning. They're two separate things that go together really nicely. Mindfulness is that calm that you bring to learn. Being reflective and, and being in tune with how are we coming in as learners and as teachers and take a moment to pause, take a moment to breathe, to think about how am I ready for this lesson? What do I need to do to prepare to 
to engage in this learning. And then a mindset for learning is once you're calm and ready to be there, that mindset is that you're optimistic, you can do this. My children love to be here. So they're excited every morning to go to school. And it's kind of a battle sometimes at dinner for whose turn is it <laughs> to share about their day. The teachers do a very good job of fostering that individuality in our children. They take the time to get to know each individual child, each individual child's need, each individual child's skill set. Eden Prairie Schools is going to take care of your kid in a way that you know every single time they come home they're going to have an experience. Their ideas get to be stretched and they get to hear the ideas of, of multiple perspectives. At the end of their journey they're going to have experiences with adults that have cared for them and that have challenged them and held them to a standard that we know helps kids develop into adults that are going to change the world. All right. Thank you, Grace, for helping navigate the slides and the video. Do we have any questions, Grace, that were turned in? So thank you for asking. And yep, absolutely happy to help. So we had a wonderful ringing endorsement for Little Eagles, which is great. I don't see any other questions yet. So I'll just ask one to give you a moment to have your wheels turn if there are any that are out there. And that is, Mr. Nora, between now and September, what do you encourage families to do to get their student ready to come to kindergarten? I think the first thing I'd say is, um, please, if you've never been to Forest Hills, come take a tour um, and you can bring your child if you'd like um, with you. So just to show him or her um, what the school is, show them the playground, show them the cafeteria, see the gymnasium, get them excited about coming to Forest Hills. Um, that's first. From there, what I would, um, depending on where your child is in terms of school readiness and school exposure, if, they've, if they're currently in a preschool, most preschools, including our preschool, will definitely be doing the academic pieces to get um, your son or daughter ready. But if your child's staying at home with you right now or are in some type of home daycare, you know, the biggest things that we'd want to emphasize is that um, your child is starting to be exposed to letters and sounds, to books um, that you're reading with them or having them read to you. Um, and then the same with just number sense just in terms of you know, counting um, very basics of mathematics, um, having them understand the concept of one-to-one -one, um, mathematically. Those are the things. And then lastly, this those life skills. You know, how does your child do when they, you know, when mom or dad or grandma or grandma aren't around? Are they used to being um, independent? Can they work, um, you know, when they go to the park, can they play independently with other children that they don't know? How how easy is that for them to separate? Um, you know, life skills such as tying their shoes, can they put things in their backpack? Um, can they use the restroom independently? All those things are also really important as well. Um, and if some of those things right now are challenging for your son or daughter, those are the types of things that will um, be benefited by doing that early childhood screening sooner rather than later, because oftentimes that early childhood screening can help us identify if there are any delays with academics or social, emotional, behavioral um, needs as well. So that's a lot of things to kind of be thinking about, but, you know, just exposing your child to different experiences where they have to interact and be part of, um, you know, sharing things and cooperating with others, um, you know, Again, if they're not at preschool, making sure that they have those opportunities. Yeah. And I know we also really encourage coming to kinder camp because that just really helps to take that kind of nerves. The nerves go away a little bit when they get to come in in advance. Hundred percent. That's I could not um, could not tell you how important that is to to attend kinder camp in August. That's a really really great opportunity for your child to feel good about coming to school on that first day. All right, I don't see any further questions. So thank you so much, Mr. Noren. Thank you to all of you for coming in and taking a look at us and for it considering Forest Hills. And I put that link in the chat to schedule a tour. So please come and meet us in person. And anything else you want to leave us with, Mr. Noor, before we go? Nope, it looks like Jennifer, I think, is the last one remaining. So um, Jennifer, thank you for coming and um, really appreciate your time. Please um, stop by anytime if we can answer any more questions for you.